Hey girl, welcome back. I'm Jasmine. If you're new here today, I'm doing a silk press and also adding some clip and extensions. So let's get right into the video. So we're going to get started. Today I'm using my air straight to straighten my hair while blow drying my hair, I guess. This kind of gives me in between a blow dry and a flat iron. So this gets my hair a little straighter than a regular blow dryer, but not as straight as a flat iron. So lately I've been using this as my blow dryer just because it's a little quicker and it's supposed to be less damaging for your hair. That's what they say. I put it on wet mode, which is one of the settings. Since my hair is damp, I just washed my hair maybe a couple hours ago. And um, so I'm going to use wet mode. I have my hair in this little towel from the brand Kitched. Kitched? Yeah, I don't know how to exactly to say it, but it's one of the drying towels. I have this color and then a white one. It's better to use than a regular towel to prevent hair damage. A little bit about my hair if you're new here. My hair is partially natural partially relaxed and keratin treated. The last relaxer that I got was October last year, so just about a year ago. So I would say maybe six inches of my hair is natural and that looks like, you know, right around here, which makes sense. So, Cause I think typically your hair grows like one inch every two months, something like that. So I would say like six inches of it is natural, which kind of looks like it's six inches worth of natural hair for me i haven't made any decisions about like going natural or anything like that i just space out my relaxers depending on when i feel like getting another one i will i've been getting braids and other styles so i haven't felt like i needed one recently basically this part of my hair is relaxed and also keratin treated i got a keratin treatment after getting relaxed to just help with the frizz so i'm gonna section off my hair i usually do a couple sections so i'm gonna do the back I'm going to section off the back first using this comb. I'm just going to pin it up with a little claw clip. And then I am going to work on this section in the back of my head. I'm going to section that into two sections and then I'm going to spray heat protectant I guess. So this is a hair primer from Amika. I really love it. It's called The Wizard. It gives a good amount of shine and just like a nice flowy silkiness to your hair. So I do enjoy using this whenever I give myself a little silk press. And then I also use the Color Wow. This is this is the dream coat from Color Wow. I need to try the new one. There's a new version. I haven't picked it up yet. But this one is going to give you kind of like a keratin treatment. It also helps your silk press last longer. I've heard the newer one is really good as well. And I think they say it's better for um curly hair i'm not sure don't quote me on that but i think it's better i think it's like even stronger i definitely want to try it but yeah this helps with humidity and basically like frizz by the way this is also heat protectant so it does protect your hair of heat up to 450 degrees so this is kind of like a detangler heat protectant shine potion so we're gonna just spray make sure to get the ends and by the way these these both smell really really good i'm all about a nice smelling hair product and these both smell amazing All right, so this is what a couple passes with the air straight looks like. This is definitely a lot straighter than if I were to use my regular blow dryers. And I'm just going to go through my hair and watch Suits while I do this. I'm going to start Suits on Netflix. And then we'll chat again once I do the flat iron. I'll put some music on. <laughs>
Okay, hair is fully blow dried or air streaked. I did a side part. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but right now we're doing side part. So this is the flat iron I'm gonna use for my hair. So just flat iron it out. I've been using this flat iron for years now and I absolutely love it. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Once again, I will section off my hair into multiple sections and I'm gonna use this comb, which is missing a couple um, teeth. <laughs> I don't do silk presses too often because obviously it is damaging and also it takes forever. So <laughs> once in a while, we do a little silk press. I'm gonna section this off a little bit more because it's kind of thick. and silky <laughs> for now we're doing side part but i actually need to do my edges a bit i am going to do my edges with a smaller flat iron because it just is a little easier that way so i'm going to use same brand but i'm going to use the smaller baby leaves fine this one here and i like using this one because i burnt myself with the big one when i try to get my edges so yeah I'm going to add the tiniest amount of bio silk to my hair. This is just a little oil. My hair gets weighed down really quickly and easily, so I only add the littlest amount so it doesn't get too weighed down. This is just for like extra shine. Alright, so this is what the back of my hair looks like. This is what my hair looks like right now. I guess it's at like bra strap length. Time for the clip-ins. Alright, so we're going to section off again. I've been sectioning off <laughs> all day. I'm going to section off this, this back section. This is my first time trying these types of clip-ins. They're basically like tape-ins and I'm excited because they're going to be so seamless, I think. They are from Wig Dealer. I have two bundles of this hair and it's 28 inches. This is the hair. I have two bundles. This is a lot of hair. It's very like... A thick bundle i have two bundles of this 28 inch this is body wave but i'm gonna straighten it to make it straight you can see how seamless this is it's basically like a tape in but it does have clips on this side and it's gonna lay so flat so these three have three clips i'm gonna put these in the back of my hair This section is going to be another three clip because it's not big enough for the four clip. So we're going to do a three clip here. All right. To get this straight, I use the air straight because it's like the easiest thing. Okay. So we're going to do another section. I'm gonna use the four clip in this section because it's a little bit longer. Um, it looks good so far. If it feels like it's tugging on my hair, I just take off the clip and then I redo it, but this looks pretty good. I'm doing this side now. I'm gonna use one of the two clips, like the double clips. We're gonna do the next section. I'm using another double, like a, I'm using another two clip uh, weft. I'm gonna put this one a little further back because I don't want it at the front of my head. I'm gonna put this one like right here.
All right, so I'm pretty much done with the clip-ins. I have a whole nother pack that I can use to add more volume. If I was going out, I would definitely add in some more wax from the other pack because I have I have a whole nother pack, y'all. My hair is on the thin side, so depending on how thick or thin your hair is, it would depend like how many you would actually need to look realistic. My hair is thinner, so it looks pretty realistic with just the one pack. All right, so. I'm gonna use my edge control to just do my edges real quick. Just on this side because the other side, I'm just gonna do the same. Cause the other side is covered so I'm not gonna really do too much over there, but yeah, we're gonna do this side. This is the length here. You guys can see it's 28 inches. I'm 5'3 for reference. But yeah, this is 28 inches. This is the final look. I think it looks pretty good. For extra volume, I would add in the second bundle because it would be double the hair or even just half of it. These clip-ins definitely feel a little more seamless than the other ones that I usually use. These are pretty versatile. You can put it in a pony. I think it looks really nice like that as well. Yeah. Maybe even like, I could even do like a little claw clip moment. I need a cuter claw clip, but I'm gonna use one of these for demonstration purposes. You know? That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.